default should be that you feel like you're enough and that you're happy all the time. And it's, it's weird that people choose to focus on things otherwise, allow their perspective to get shifted to the same exact triggers over and over and over and over again, and then they complain about their life. Ah, ah, poor me. It's the world. It's happening. I couldn't control it. And I just see them go from like, yay, I'm happy because things are going my way to the world is over. So a great way to avoid falling into the world is over is to shift your perspective from a place of I'm not enough to I'm enough. I'm not happy to I'm happy. And you being the thing that shifts your perspective, not relying on external stimulus, you know, validation, ego gratification, things going your way the way you want it versus not the way you want it, and taking away that value that you place on those things and that connection that it gives, that you assume it gives to you in terms of your worth and how you can feel. Now, granted, tragedy happens and it's tragic when tragic things happen, but how severely will you get thrown into reaction? When there's a, a trigger, whether it be like external stimulus, whether it be like your internal thoughts, you got to stop and just make yourself more self-aware. Raise that self-awareness. Harness that superpower that you have. You have the ability to become more self-aware of, why, why did I fall into reaction so severely right there? You know, if my default, let's just use the power of the imagination, if my default is supposed to be happy and that I'm enough, what, why is it that I don't feel that way now, okay? Let me take a note, a data point. Yes, okay, cool. I fell into reaction here, all right? Well, I still got to deal with this, this emotional roller coaster, so I'm going to go through it. Now, next time, because you stack that win with self-awareness, and you better stack that win, even if it's only like, oh, yeah, earlier today or a week, a month ago, this crazy thing happened, and I was wilding out. But now that it's passed, in retrospect, I can see that, you know, maybe I, I, I was overreacting. Maybe, you know, I, I was able to make it through, but at the time I wasn't able to think that I was going to make it through. It's still, even if it's a past reference experience, stack that as a huge win that you're raising your self-awareness. Think of all the people who go through life on autopilot. Uh, oh, something happened. Uh, oh, it's over. Uh, my whole day is bad now. Well, something good happened. Oh, something bad happened. And it'll just be like, just smacking them upside the head. They're going to be shook. Don't be the person who's on autopilot aimlessly shook by external stimulus. Be the one who harnesses their self-awareness. Now, when you stack these wins, huge wins, next time you fall into reaction, you have a reference experience that you stacked and grounded in a place of, oh, wait, this is a trigger. Last time I was triggered by something that made me feel like this, like I'm not enough, like I, I shouldn't be happy. I'm going to fall into reaction less and say you would have fallen into reaction on a scale of like 100 out of 10. Just, ah, the world's over. Then this time, because you're more self-aware, you're like, whoa, 97% reaction. I actually remember that I'm falling into reaction. Then the next time, you know, stacking that win as well because you're adding to that self-awareness, you're like, oh, well, this time 90% reaction. Well, well th this time I didn't fall into reaction at all because it wasn't as severe, so you know, I, I wasn't tripping. Then next time, oh, well, fell back into reaction again. Never hold it against yourself if you do fall back into reaction. You know, it's life. You're learning. You're reconditioning yourself to get this habit of, ah, the external, the external dictates how I feel, dictates how I view life through this skewed filter. This is my life is hard filter. Now, even though that one thing was the thing that I was dealing with, now the rest of my day, my thoughts are going to loop on, oh, well, something happened to you and it wasn't fair. So you want to take away, remove that bias-skewed filter and really stack these wins of raising your self-awareness, investing in your core confidence by being like, wow, I'm in control. I can shift my perspective from not feeling like I'm enough and not being happy to feeling like I'm enough and being happy because the power is within you. Choice is yours.